So this is a different type of video that I have not done before, and this was not going to be the most well-edited video out there, but this is a straight reaction to David Land's new video about, about NASCAR, about new video that he just uploaded right now, and that is NASCAR fan, quote-unquote, quotation marks, attacks Kyle Busch, and for today's and. I'm gonna be reacting to it just to see what he's just to say what he says. I feel like I should do this for every David Land video that involves NASCAR because because really I feel like David Land really speaks the truth about this sport concerning one that people give him crap because one he's a fan of the type of motorsports. I mean hell hell with it. He is, I mean David Land he is a NASCAR fan. He's a Kyle Larson fan, so that's good. Man, we're gonna react to it. And this is gonna be a straight reaction, so so I'm gonna position the camera right here, and let's just get on. And uh, no, screw it. Let's just put it right there. Now let's watch it. And I'm gonna pull up really loud. If you're a fan of NASCAR and you attend the races, you're probably more than well aware of the fact that. The chance to meet your favorite driver is pretty much slim to none. A lot of the hot passes, garage access, and uh, just general access to the drivers usually comes to the highest bidder, and the general public uh, never sees much of their favorite driver outside of them coming by on a pickup truck and waving as they uh, drive by the spectator areas. Now, that being said, uh, things are probably going to get even worse than they already are in terms of driver access in NASCAR because for the second time, in less than a calendar year, a fan, a member of the general public, has attempted to physically fight a NASCAR driver. This most recent uh, incident involved Kyle Busch uh, during Saturday's Bristol night race. So the situation all really began on the racetrack when Kyle Busch made contact with Martin Truex Jr. coming off of the corner and onto the straightaway, uh, turning Martin Truex Jr. into the inside wall, Truex Jr. outside that. into another car and to the outside wall, eliminating him from the race. And as you could well imagine, the Truex fans were none too pleased, and there was a lot of rage on social media, probably uh, from uh, drivers or uh, from fans who just simply hate Kyle Busch and wanted to express their Kyle Busch hate once again. Not necessarily Truex fans, uh, but I'll be honest with you. I mean, I hate Kyle Busch, and I always don't hate him because I like to hate him. There's a good reason for that, and that's just because um, Ron Horner Day, Texas. That's the reason why. This led to a confrontation uh, that uh, boiled over as Kyle Busch was leaving Bristol Motor Speedway after the race and was actually signing autographs for fans. Now, this, the uh, statement, or this statement that I'm about to read comes directly from Bristol Motor Speedway and was originally reported by Jeff Gluck. Our security team has investigated a post-race incident where a guest repeatedly confronted Kyle Busch verbally and physically while he was signing autographs for fans. As Busch then prepared to leave in his golf cart, the individual struck the driver across the chest, and at that time, Busch confronted the individual. The two were separated, and a uniformed officer pulled the individual to the side, Damn. allowing Busch to depart. Bristol Motor Speedway appreciates fan accessibility provided by NASCAR drivers, and we will work to ensure that fans and drivers continue to have great experiences together at B. And well, someone yes. was drunk. Now, there was some video that surfaced on Reddit of the incident. Now, I will warn viewers that there is some strong language, but as this is a visual medium, it's worthwhile uh, to at least see some of the incident taking place. <laughs> Absolutely the most craziest thing I have ever seen. 
Holy cow, that was just unbelievable. I, I don't know what to say. This is absolutely unacceptable behavior uh, by this fan. And uh, again, it's the second incident of this in less than 12 months. Um, this is just a complete, this needs to be denounced absolutely 100%. And I don't think this is getting as much press as it really should. So that's why I'm making this video. Uh, as a fan, uh, these people are here it to made it a, on Yahoo. number one, do their jobs. Uh, there's no. a bit of a misnomer in racing that the drivers are there to entertain you. No, they're hired to do a job. They're hired there uh, to drive a race car around the track as fast as possible by their, uh, you know, they're hired by their teams to do that. D does anyone come into your work uh, and uh, attempt to fight you when you screw up or just in general piss them off? No, absolutely not. So you have to respect the working environment of these drivers first and foremost. And the fact that there seems to be a bit of an attitude among social media, and this isn't just NASCAR fans, by the way. When I made this Santino Ferrucci video, there were incredibly, uh, I would say, insensitive comments. You know, you can say whatever you want, and Santino Ferrucci certainly is, yeah. is not without criticism. I hate, I hate him, and neither is Santino Kyle Busch. But if you're talking about a human being, who has spouted his mouth off, maybe said something you don't like. That does not give you a right to physically assault them. And that's what we have here. Now, that being said, again, the reputation of the Bristol Night Race is that there are fights and tempers flaring and all that stuff. But just because you bought a $20 Martin Truex Jr. does not give you any kind of uh, say in how a retaliation I still feel like that was be, dirty, uh, but put on Kyle Busch. Uh, I wasn't at the uh, race track. Trail. I went Kyle himself claimed was uh, unintentional in every way. Now, if you're Cole Pern, Barney Visser, Martin Truex Jr., or even Shelly Pollux, you've got some skin in the game. If you wanted to go fight Kyle Busch, uh, more power to you. You're a competitor out there on the racetrack, and, um, you know, while I'm not the biggest advocate of fighting after a race, you know, if it's something that uh, you feel hey, needs the WWE to be addressed, fans are happy. go address it. But you need to go address it uh, directly to the, you know, person who's doing that, and no one from f the Furniture Row team did that publicly. Uh, this was, again, a fa I mean, I just, I'm mind-boggled that this happened. I think racing fans as a whole need to take a real hard look at how they perceive the drivers on the track because I think a lot of this vitriol, especially towards drivers like Kyle Busch, who, again, everybody wants an outspoken driver, and as soon as the driver is outspoken, suddenly everybody hates them and is trying to fight them. I find that you know, fairly humorous. But everybody needs to take a long, hard look um, at how they treat uh, racing drivers uh, on social media, uh, but also in real life. These are human beings, again, there to do a job. Um, and when you dehumanize them to the point where clearly, and I don't care how much alcohol was in this guy's system, we may find out he was completely wasted. Regardless of that, probably was. Um, if you cannot get to a point where you're going to think you're going to go up there and fight some, fight Martin Truex's battle for him. Are you kidding me? Uh, this this behavior is absolute madness, and and I'll be honest, I, I'm. I'm oh, wow, damn, ad. Okay, sorry for that. Let's continue. Imagine this happening at any other motorsport event. That that would that would just you just don't even think about that. And this is why I've been saying on Twitter a few times, like, look. There's a reason that NASCAR doesn't do full field autograph sessions. I completely understand it. Imagine if Dale Jr. was sitting there at a, at a table out in the middle of the, the fan village or the, the fan fest area, uh, and there's just a line of people there to meet him. Or Kyle Busch. God forbid somebody got a stupid idea and brought a weapon. I mean, these are the things that we have to think about, unfortunately, now. Because if somebody was willing to punch Kyle Busch, what's to think that somebody's going to make a make a even a greater uh, attempt? This is ridiculous, and I do not know why this this is happening uh, in in NASCAR. It doesn't make it, it does not make any sense to me. Uh, NASCAR is really going. I cannot really believe bad. that there are fans out there, and I don't even want to call them fans. But there's people out there who, who de dehumanize these drivers so much to the point where, where they think they, they need to take out real-life vengeance on these guys. 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with loving to hate Kyle Busch. If you want to boo him, that's fine. If you want to cheer when he gets passed or when you want to cheer when he gets spun out, even though that's a bit, you know, dirty, uh, if, if I may say so myself. But if you want to cheer when something bad happens to Kyle Busch, that's fine. But when, we, when you're wishing death on the guy or wishing the guy to be injured on social media, uh, and this applies to everything, again, the, the Santino Ferrucci thing, people are wishing death on the guy or wishing him for, to get hurt in the car. I'm sorry. Um, I, just, I just do not want him to be unacceptable. in Unacceptable. Unacceptable. One thing's for sure, I do not want Santino Ferrucci in a Formula One car. Never. That's just my opinion on him. Um, and again... We look at it Bristol and we think, okay, there's an acceptable level of nonsense that usually happens there. Uh, but there is a line. There's, a, there's, there's the Bristol night race, and then there's Bowman Gray. And the line right here is get the dozer. And so we want to bulldoze Bowman Gray, and we don't want to bulldoze Bristol. So fans, stop being stupid and making a, a joke out of, out of this sport. It's, and it's not even a joke. It's not a joking matter. People are probably laughing about it. Because nobody's thinking probably clearly about this, but this this is a very serious situation, and I and I, and I it, it needs to be denounced very clearly that this this stuff should not go on. It needs to stop. Um, so if you if you're going to a NASCAR race and you see people you know starting to get rowdy or, or causing trouble uh, or, or getting violent towards oh, drivers, cops. I mean I can't even believe that this is this is a thing that we have to talk about, and I and I don't know the solution. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for letting me get that off of my chest because that was something that really upset me when I saw that because th th that's unacceptable behavior. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments or, and what possibly could be done uh, because, again, as NASCAR's audience shrinks, something that's going to keep it, the sustainability of the sport is going to be access to the drivers, being able to meet them, being able to humanize them rather than have them be uh, pushed even further towards their, their uh, motor homes, uh, rather than you know being able to meet the fans, being able to interact with the fans, being able to, to create long-lasting memories with the, with the children and the young people there. Uh, that's not going to happen, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse now from here because of these people who ruin it for everybody else. So I don't know what the solution is. Again, let me know down in the comments below. Um, thank you guys for watching uh, for more motorsports commentary, motorsports talk, motorsports content, uh, and NASCAR content. We'll see you in the next video. So after really watching that video in depth, I really have to agree with David Land. But I'm not going to talk, but really, I thought that... Um, I did not do a NASCAR news discussion on this. Really. Really. But here's, I think, a solution to how we can stop these things from happening. Um, here's one thing that we need to do. We, the drivers, each and every driver, needs to have good security. I think they need to have four cops protecting them and their families or their fiancés or sons and daughters. That's what I think that needs to happen. Also, something else that I think needs to happen, too, and as if this guy was drunk, we should ban beer or alcohol at these racetracks. Screw it. We ain't going to sell Bush beer. We ain't going to sell Budweiser. We ain't going to sell Coors Light. I think we need to do something like that. You know, and also, you know, you got to have gates all over the track. You have to have... All these drivers need to have at least a security guard with them. Or a police officer. Someone with a gun that you could shoot at and something like that. Well, I mean, that's what I think needs to just happen. I think that the drivers just need a lot of security. Because really, I don't think that the drivers are even safe anymore with all these fans. Wanting to beat the crap out of them or something like that. Or some stupid thing he wants to do. Now, I'm very... Now, yes. I, I do, in fact, hate Kyle Busch. I do, but here's the thing, but here's the thing, but here's the thing, I'm human, we're all human, you know, we're, we're all sinners, you know, we're all, we're not all good people, you know, but we can try to be good people, you know, but I mean, we shouldn't be doing this, we shouldn't be doing this, I mean, w I mean, why can't we just come together at a NASCAR race, and we could be happy, you know? And to be honest, and also, I mean, social media. 
if you if you think that hell's a horrible place, social media looks like just a horrible place. But um, yeah, that's just what I think. Overall, good video, David Land. And yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed it. And right after I'm gonna done with this, I'm gonna just upload it right now. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later.